We just received a report that they are uh, shooting civilians trying to flee on the job. A report from the front lines during the morning BUA, the battlefield update assessment. Suddenly, the headquarters in the rear is on the front line. The missile launch from Iraq, area at risk, Kuwait. Lightning, lightning, lightning. In a war that began with a strike aimed at killing Saddam Hussein and the Iraqi High Command, the Iraqis are launching a counterattack. She put out. It was Saddam's decapitation attempt. Inside the operations center, General McKiernan and his crew keep going with their update, gas masks and all. The Patriots on their way to intercept the Iraqi missile, a dull roar overhead. The idea is just to, first of all, try to maintain a little calmness and continue on. And by God, that Patriot knocked the missile down. Yeah, we had to actually fall on this building. It's awesome. At the Air Missile Defense Command, in the building next to the operations center, they plot the trajectory of the Iraqi missile and realize it came within seconds of wiping out the war room. This right here is the building you're standing in where the arrow is. That was Seaflick headquarters. General Webster believes the Iraqis have chosen their target and time carefully and had very good intelligence. We've been operating out of these two buildings for, for 10 years. And so there's been a long time for that information to get back from agents to Saddam and for him to lay that grid into his weapon systems and prepare to shoot it. Had anyone reported this, had we reported it, or had it been gotten out, it would enable them to know that they had the exact grid coordinate they needed and they needed to put another missile there the next day and another the next day. Now it's the coalition's turn to hunt for the Iraqi missile crew. They know the unit designation. I mean, the only thing we don't know is the guy's name. Call five o'clock Charlie. That's his nickname. <laughs> he would shoot, scoot, hide and wait. Mm -hmm. And he'd shoot, we go looking for him. Yeah. And just, sometimes it takes a few times to find him. Right. And uh, I think that we found him. It was two minutes after launch that they hit okay. it today. Five o'clock Charlie has given away his location. And this is the gun camera tape. Almost the instantly, two A-10s have his missile launcher in their sights. They find it and destroy it. There's tens of thousands of people on Camp Doha that just got spared. Captain Craig Schlossman finds out the next morning his Patriot missile battery is the one that's taken out the Iraqi missile. Here's your first missile flying out, the first gem. Target's right there. So you got your two missiles flying in tandem going up to it. Here's a target coming in. First intercept. And it would have been devastating had it not been intercepted. There's a huge uh, improvement in the Patriot missile. Unlike the last Gulf War, when few of the Patriots hit their targets, this time the redesigned missiles are doing the job. The original Patriot would go up and it would home in on the largest object it could find, which normally was the fuel component of the missile. It would destroy the fuel and the warhead would actually continue on down and explode. And in this war, clearly the engineering process of going after the warhead itself enabled them to um, have a pretty high success rate. Five o'clock, Charlie. Yeah, we, we've heard about five o'clock, Charlie. The Patriot battery is based just across the street from Camp Doha, put there to protect Seaflick headquarters. The crew even has a nickname for two prominent landmarks right outside the base. Those two smokestacks, we've been calling those the Scud goalposts. 
we've been expecting missile launch on Camp Doha because it's such an important asset for the Americans for a long time. And this time, they say, the Iraqis were trying to put a missile right between them. The holy shit moment is... When you they, see it on screen. Well, for them... You see the scud on screen and then you know it's coming at you. That's when, that's when the pucker factor starts coming up. Okay, this isn't a drill anymore. It's sort of... Um, it's like someone stuck a needle in your ass. I mean, it's like, you better get moving. The Patriot system spotted the missile and quickly fired, all automatically. The first time it shot out of the canister, took a sharp left turn, and uh, the other one went straight out, took another sharp left, and uh, intercepted the missile in flight. We heard the explosions three seconds, four seconds after it left the can. Pages are out. Pages are out. Looking good. All clear. All clear. For Seaflick, seconds away from being on the wrong end of a 2,000-pound high explosive, a new appreciation of the Patriots and life on the front lines. A little close to home, isn't it? <laughs> a little close to home. Let's go, guns! Coming up, the battle for Baghdad. Yeah!